In this video, we are going to talk about how my life is transformed after healing the fearful avoidant attachment style. I am Pauline and I am so happy you are here because on this channel, we talk about everything surrounding healing the fearful avoidant attachment style. And one of the most powerful ways in healing anything is knowing what it looks like to be healed. Because the more your fear brain has a clear and concrete image of what it looks like to be healed, the easier it will become to uh, get to that place instead of you keep working on healing and healing and healing and not really getting anywhere. So that's why I have a couple of videos uh, around how it feels to be healed from the fearful avoidant attachment style and how my life is transformed. So let's dive into that so that you have a more concrete image. So first of all, one of the things that I notice every single day is that I don't feel powerless and weak and small anymore. And I don't even think that I, I realize how powerless and weak and small I felt. I felt like the world was just too big and, and, and threatening and I couldn't do it. I couldn't handle it. I was not good enough. I, uh, it was, everything was just too much. I just couldn't do it. And I felt powerless and weak and small and also I also kept myself powerless, weak and small because in a way, even though it felt horrible, it also felt more safe than to be powerful because being powerful, I associate it with having to take responsibility, making graver mistakes, people getting angry with me, people expecting much more from me. And now I do feel way more powerful and I realize that all of those fears that I had are are non-existent, are not the truth. And this is this has been so consistent in healing the fearful avoidant attachment style that I had all these fears. My fear brain would tell me, well, if you heal this, then this will happen, this will happen, this will happen. And I have never, in healing this attachment style, have never experienced that what my fear brain was scared of was happening. It was actually the opposite that I realized that um, when I was still feeling powerless and weak and small, I had the feeling that people had way more expectations of me. I had the feeling that the world was, was more threatening. I had the feeling that I should take responsibility and I wasn't able to do it. So I was struggling with all those things that I was scared would happen when I would be more powerful. But I was actually struggling with them more when I was feeling powerless and weak and small. Now that I feel more powerful, I know that other people's expectations are not mine to meet. It's not my responsibility. I am not scared of people getting angry with me because I know that their anger is theirs and it's not my responsibility. Um, what else was I afraid of? I am not scared. I... Um, I am not scared of taking responsibility or way less scared uh, of taking responsibility and, and making mistakes because I know making mistakes is part of life and it's also part of taking responsibility. So the people who have the biggest responsibilities in the world also make mistakes and that's okay. So everything I was afraid of is just, it's it's a non-issue right now and it just feels so much better to be, to feel more powerful than to feel powerless, small and weak. I also don't see the world as a dangerous place anymore, but as a playful place. I am I am maybe weirdly very optimistic about the world and uh, about the possibilities and the time that we live in. I think we live in, in a very interesting time and of course there are challenges, but if you look at history, every single generation had its big fears and its big challenges. And I think if you compare those challenges to where we are right now, we're doing pretty okay. There's a lot of, there's a lot of abundance also, but this is my personal, my personal uh, belief, but it also my personal feeling now. And it just, it feels so much better to not see the world as a dangerous place and to not see everything falling apart and, uh, oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? Um, I, I see the world much more now as, as a place to play. And that doesn't mean I'm completely free of fears or worries. Becoming a mother has definitely added some worries, but um, it's nothing compared to what I used to feel like. And I'm not scared of people anymore. <laughs> that that is, that is such a big difference. I used to be so scared of people, very scared of people becoming angry with me, uh, trying to 
take me down, betray me, um, judge me, criticize me. And that is just pretty much non-existent anymore. Uh, and that allows me to play much more. I'm not afraid to be out there to make these videos. I'm not afraid to um, let my voice be heard. And, and that is just freedom, you know? It's just, it feels so good to be able to sit here and actually look forward to taping these videos, making these videos, and not be afraid of uh, somebody getting angry or um, everything going wrong because I said one wrong thing. So it's much more playful and I'm, I'm enjoying everything much more. I'm enjoying life much more. <laughs> I am also able now to be consistent. Uh, I was not able to be consistent when I was in a crash state of my fearful avoidant attachment. So I would start things head over heels. I would go all in and then I would be so afraid of failure or messing things up that I would just stop and retreat and not do it anymore or destroy and then start all over again um and now i i can be consistent um it, with this for instance just filming videos because i love it now it's it's not something that feels very heavy anymore so uh yeah i just love uploading every week and um consistency is not something i'm scared of i i used to be scared of it because it would mean that i would have to keep it up and I was so afraid to drop the ball or wouldn't be able to to keep it up um, and now it just feels so much lighter and easier then also I am able to have close relationships without pushing people away so I used to feel so lonely and feel like I wasn't able to have close friendships especially with women um, and I have I've healed so much around that but also just healing the fearful avoidant attachment style has has really helped in that. And now I don't have that urge to pe push people away anymore. I'm not afraid to have friends over. I'm not afraid to build friendships and to invest in friendships. Um, and that, I think that is one of the most enriching things uh, I am now noticing after being healed, that how much those close relationships are giving me. So sometimes people ask me was it worth it all that time and effort and energy that you put into healing yes it has been worth it a hundred times over even if, if it was just for this for these close relationships close friendships um that i have also with my partner obviously with my husband uh it's just so much better so much more loving and calm and in in a really good way i don't have that urge to push him away anymore which helps <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, it's, oh, that's just so good. Um, and then I created safety and stability in so many areas of my life. So before this, I would always be on the verge of everything falling apart, or I would build something and then everything would be gone or I would destroy. Um, and now everything is just so much more stable. So in relationships, in my health, money wise, um with my husband in my marriage uh so i allow stability and safety much more and i think i could not have realized back then how much that would give me but it gives me energy to to build and to serve and to give to others whereas when i was in a crash state of the fearful avoidant attachment style i was very focused on myself and really was just surviving. And that is not a bad thing. I'm not saying that that's, that's not a, that's a bad thing, but it's, um, it's something I'm noticing now that I've healed that feels good to be able to, um, have an abundance of time and energy to spend on helping others, serving others, being there for others, being with others, um, without, it costing so much energy for me. Um, so that's an added benefit from creating safety and stability in my life that now I get to, I get to build, you know, it, it, I, I used to be in a survival mode and everything just felt like it wasn't stable. It wasn't safe. And now the, the foundation is safe. And now we get to build on that. We get to build, uh, 
buffers we get to build a future we get to invest in relationships probably for the rest of our lives um friendships and that just feels really good to be able to do that without it feeling so heavy or like an enormous chore or something i have to keep up because otherwise i might mess up so my life is definitely transformed after healing the fearful avoidant attachment sound sometimes I catch myself thinking, well, if I didn't put all that energy into healing, if I wouldn't have done anything, wouldn't I have come to the same place? And then I look at my family. I, I never really talk about that, but um, part of why I do this is because my family, one side of my family, all of my cousins struggle with mental health issues a lot. We've lost cousins um there's been addiction it's it's just yeah really rough and um and when i look at that they are all much older than me and when i look at that i think yeah no it was it was good that i uh, invested so much in uh, in healing because there is a possibility that I could have had all of that for the rest of my life and I don't know where I would have ended up. If I hadn't healed. So my life is transformed. It's really, really good right now. I think it's better than I could have expected in so many ways. Doesn't mean that my life is perfect, but... Um, when I compare to what it could be, where I could be, uh, I'm just really happy for it. every single second I put into healing and, uh, and building a better life for myself. But healing the fearful avoidant attachments, I was, was absolutely necessary for that, to be able to allow myself this safety and stability and this happiness uh, that I continue to now build on and that is what I so wish for you so I like I said I never really talk about this because I always get emotional but one of the reasons that I do this is because I see how much pain trauma can cause how bad it can get and how it can destroy lives completely and um and I wish for you not only to survive, but also to thrive and to be healed and get to a place of being healed because I know that's possible. And if you have any motivation to do that, I just want to give you everything that you might need or want to be able to do that because this is what I wish for you. Just peace and happiness and, and love and stability and safety and building a life that you will look back on thinking wow, I did that I did that that is what I wish for you so as always I'm really so happy you are here <laughs> please stay here <laughs> I mean on this earth and um I will uh, I will see you in the next one <laughs> Healed and Happy is a tailor-made online program where me and my team personally guide you through healing the roots of a fearful avoidant attachment style. 